it's a perfect day for a video. It's a, a gentle breeze of about 75 with gusts of 102, so audio should be perfect. <laughs> As you can probably hear, yeah, it's pretty windy. It's It was way windier yesterday, but I still came out and I, I built the bases for these shoe boxes long ago. So I put this one together yesterday. I went to Home Depot, I got all the wood pre-cut. And so I didn't have to do it myself out here. It's not exact, I still gotta, I still gotta trim some pieces because he cut it. And I measured the first two pieces he cut. I'm like, dude, these are supposed to be 50.5 and you gotta make 50. Oh, we can't guarantee exact cuts. I'm like, okay, I get that, dude. You can be like on either side of an eighth of an inch, and I can work with that. I prefer over, but you can't be half an inch shy, dude. <laughs> All right, I mean, the foundation is already built. I redo everything. So I had to recut those. And I just told him, I said, just make sure everything goes over, and I'll trim off the excess. So make sure everything's at least an eighth of an inch over, a quarter of an inch over, whatever. And the sides and stuff that I had left, I was like, just cut it as one board, and I'll cut those on the sides. So I'm going to unload the stuff for the big box. Throw that together, sand that down, and then I may or may not stay in a day because it's so dang windy. Should have actually had him cut these sides. I didn't think about it because you know I gotta hold it and cut it because otherwise it'll snap off. One of these days when I'm completely done building everything and I no longer need it, I'll be able to afford a building and a table set. This is gonna be garbage. I had to cut these two side pieces from scratch. And all I have is my skill saw with this super old, like 10 year old uh, AccuCut tray that definitely needs to be replaced because it's just, it's, it's chattered to crap and it no longer, no longer will hold a straight blade or cut a straight line, however you want to put it. So, that sucks. Man, as time went on, this dude got super lazy. And instead of leaving like a quarter of an inch in one direction, he left like several inches in multiple directions and then miscalculated on the side to cut my sides. I had one piece that was supposed to go to two sides. One of those ended up being scrap. I had to pull an old piece of board that's birch, not even the same, not even sanded pine, because I have sanded pine, but I have giant pieces and I don't want to, I don't want to sacrifice them for a little piece like this. So. I think actually this is three quarter inch and this is 22 30 seconds, but that's not really much of an actual difference in measurement. But I am overlapping <laughs> what I've done. Because I measured these and I cut, so apparently I measured wrong also, because I'm overlapping that much. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's supposed to overlap. It's supposed to be three quarters of an inch over because it's snow, because the back is. So I don't know what I've done. I'll figure it out as I go. So I don't know what I did and why it's all screwed up and how, what part I measured wrong or if I built the base wrong, <laughs> I don't know. But having to adjust everything. So I got to trim that much off this board. Uh, I got to complete that line across and complete, take that much off that board. And then I'll also have to take off this much off this board. Yeah, I'm not going to this Home Depot ever again to have my pre-cuts cut. This dude is a jackass. <laughs> Oh,
a corner there where there's nothing. But I'll put in a little filler paste if I need to, but I shouldn't need to because I'm going to do trim. I still got to cut. Like I'll have to cut. Like this overlaps just a little bit. It's all easier to do with a handsaw after it's on. Because all I got to do is follow the line. Same thing with this one. Okay. Got them all stained up except for the backs and the bottoms, which I'm not going to do. So yeah, I'll let everything dry and I can work on trim tomorrow. Oh my goodness. What do we got here? Goofy tripod. I don't know what this is. I know what it is. I don't know which one it is. I think, I suspect, yep. I was going to say, I suspect it's for the Suzuki. And it is. Because the KLX is just the foam kit with the cover. And this definitely feels like a full seat. So this should be the new seat. Seat Concepts. Pretty excited. Oh. oh yeah, this is definitely for the Suzuki. It's the whole seat. Attention required. All mounting tabs must be fully engaged. Okay, the tall seat. I will put that on, but not now. Front done. I mean, it's not done. I still got to stain on everything. But I'm going to put on all the trim first and then stain it. All right, keep trucking. As an afterthought, I'm probably going to have to put some shelving in this one. Uh, the small one's going to be for all my boots. So I need it to be tall, but this one's going to be for shoes. Okay, all trimmed out. I don't love it, but I was just kind of playing it by ear. I probably should have looked at somebody else who did it. I think it'll look better once it's once it once it's stoned. It's gonna say once it's stoned. It's what's my mind on. Once it's stained and uh, it's got stuff on it and it's in the mix and it's in the mix all the other stuff. But right now it, it looks kind of goofy. Obviously I didn't do the bat the, the other side because that's gonna be against the wall and unseen. And uh, but yeah, I don't know. I can always throw it in the fire pit if I hate it, right? Okay. And then the lighting's probably terrible, but that's our finished product. Minus wood putty over all the nail holes, if I ever choose to do that. And there it is inside, and it's already evident to me that I'm going to have to stain more of the back, because you can actually see it, because I made it slightly... I don't know what I was thinking when I measured this part. I mean, because even without, even without all the extra stuff, it was still going to stick out inch and a half okay next day working on this one i was just about to start putting the trim on and then i was like hey dork you uh gotta put a shelf in so i got this one in measured at the halfway point i considered putting in two shelves because there's probably enough room to squeeze the shoes in with but i think it'll be plenty with just one and then i was like well how am i going to get the other side level because yeah, it's too hard to measure. You can do it. I've done that way before. But then I was like, oh, I got my big clamp. So I just clamp my, my long level on, which I've done. I'm uh, on bubble. So now I can mark out. That'll be flush with the, the top. It's like that. And then, uh, and then yeah, I'm going to put a cleat, a long one across the back, which should be, you know, as long as it's even with these, and it should be level. And then that should be plenty because it's just holding shoes. And it's three-quarter inch ply, so... I think that'll be sufficient, but that's your update on this one. I'll show you show you more when I get more done. Okay. All trimmed out. I actually had this piece of sheathing. It was too long, so I trimmed it that way, and that's how wide it was, so that's fine. Yeah, I mean, obviously I can't put two sets of shoes on that shelf now. I didn't think about that, but otherwise I would have had to go and buy more, buy more plywood, and I wasn't doing that. I wasn't doing that. I ain't trying to spend gobs of money on a, on a little shoe holder. Shoe rack, what is that what you call it? All right, so now nothing left to do but stain. The the most fun part, not. Okay, all stained up. Good enough to hold shoes, I reckon. I don't know if it's a slug or maybe one of those uh, cow wasps. Cow, cow ants, I mean, it's actually a wasp. But do you see, can you see all the, the pattern through my dirt here? And as you can see, I'm in the process of organizing all this, which was the problem, because I had no, but yeah, you can see. In the process of organizing everything, getting everything in containers. But yeah, so I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my dog food containers. But yeah, 
besides all the clutter, the food, the food stands, what the heck, I'm not even hungry, I just ate. The shoe stands, pretty good. Not filled up yet, I haven't got all the shoes and put them in there yet. One thing at a time, people.